I'm Jim McKetney, I'm one of the principal project engineers here at Supercat and this is the HMT vehicle which has been our core product for over 20 years. As part of the ongoing continuous product development on the HMT vehicle, we've naturally been looking at electric and hybrid drivetrains. As well as doing our own internal development of that, we've just been contracted to do a, a concept demonstrator as part of the PMETS programme with NP Aerospace to work in collaboration with Magtech to produce a hybrid uh, demonstrator vehicle of the HMT. So the configuration that's been chosen for this hybrid demonstrator is a series hybrid. Um, we maintain the engine in its same position, although we've changed it out from a six-cylinder uh, Cummins engine to the four-cylinder variant. That gives us a bit more space inside the engine bay to uh, package some of the other electronic components um, that we need for the hybrid drive. The drive is then provided to the wheels by four independent motor gearboxes developed by Magtech. Uh, that drives the wheels through the drive shafts and the reduction hubs that we normally have fitted to the, the vehicle, which gives us the torque multiplications and the power we need. This gives us a lot of power because we've got four large motors in there, which gives us a good drivability, uh, high performance. Um, and the battery has been sized so that we can have a, 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 a good amount of silent running capability. Going forwards, we would look at developing that platform or that configuration, depending on user profiles. So the amount of silent running that may be required, exportable power, um, increased vehicle performance would all be factors that would come into that to, to specify that configuration. There may also be other um, situations where actually a parallel hybrid system is more applicable um, and so we're investigating those options as well. The beauty with these electronic or electric drivetrain systems is that it also makes it much easier to incorporate autonomous drive or optionally manned drive systems uh, in the future, such as we have done on the hybrid ATMP platform. So the technologies that we're learning from that platform and the technologies that we're learning from the hybridization of the HMT are two things that we can bring brought together in the future to potentially make an optionally manned or an autonomous HMT vehicle as well.